So, a very warm welcome to this session on uh, simulation of or modeling and simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. So, we were discussing matrix operations the last time, we had discussed arrays and how do we index and as I said earlier, everything in MATLAB is a matrix. So, the basic uh, data type in MATLAB is a matrix and uh, or uh, rather everything is stored as a matrix in MATLAB. So, with that in this lecture we will discuss some results from linear algebra, we will discuss uh, some basic matrix operations that uh, we can work with. So, the first matrix operation that we will work with is transposition. So, the transpose of a matrix A transpose or the transpose of a matrix, let me introduce a new slide. So, suppose A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If A is this matrix, then A transpose is basically you interchange rows and columns. So, for actually 10, 11, I will write it like this for completeness. So, A transpose becomes you interchange the rows and columns. So, 1, 4, 7, 10, 2, 5, 8, 11, 3, 6, 9, 12. So, this is uh, the transposition of operation in MATLAB. In MATLAB, you can do this two ways. So, transpose A is one way of doing it and A prime is another way of doing it. So, let us try both, we will open MATLAB, we will close the script window for a while and clear screen. So, let us see A. So, A we have defined. So, let us say that, let us redefine A and we will use our test example. this and A B equals A transpose and this or equivalently B equals this. So, we get the same thing. So, this is the basic uh, matrix transposition operation. The next thing we look at is so, these are essentially array operations max and min which we will look at. So, let us go through these quickly. So, max A returns the maximum from each column and max B naturally will return again the maximum of from each column. So, let us uh, look at what the max function does using MATLAB help and so largest element in the vector. So, when MATLAB says vector, it means column vector. So, when if m is a matrix, it is a row vector containing the maximum element from each column and uh, for n dimensional arrays, max x operates along the first non singleton dimension. So, a matrix is a two dimensional array. Obviously, there are uh, you can actually go for multi dimensional arrays as well. Uh, we will talk about them when appropriate time comes and uh, so uh, we have left out multidimensional arrays purposefully and uh, we'll talk about them when we talk about image processing so this notation mi returns the indices corresponding to the maximum values so let us say what i equals max a this gives me this so in all the cases the third entry of the column is the largest. If you look at this, the third entry of the column is the largest. So, it returns 3, 3, 3, 3 and so the index corresponding index is 3, 3, 3, 3. Let me define another matrix. A equals 41, 12, 13, 31, 13, 
सिक्स ट्वेल्व फोर फाइव टू लेट्स डिफाइन दिस मेट्रिक्स एंड इफ आई राइट दैट एम आई ओवर हियर सो नाउ इट विल टेक द मैक्सिमम एंट्री फ्रॉम ईच कॉलम सो टू टू वन वन सो द सेकेंड एंट्री इन द फर्स्ट कॉलम इज द लार्जेस्ट द सेकेंड एंट्री इन द सेकेंड कॉलम इज द लार्जेस्ट द फर्स्ट एंट्री इन द थर्ड कॉलम इज लार्जेस्ट इन द फर्स्ट एंट्री इन द फोर्थ कॉलम इज लार्जेस्ट विच इट हैज टेकन नाउ वॉट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू टेक द मैक्सिमम एंट्री अक्रॉस ऑल द डायमेंशन और द सिंगल लार्जेस्ट एंट्री ऑफ दिस मेट्रिक्स इन दैट केस माई बैंड आई राइट ऑल लाइक दिस एंड यस सो द लार्जेस्ट एंट्री इज फोर्टी वन and uh, it has returned an index of 7 so but uh, this is a 3 cross 4 matrix so how do we get an index of 7 so to answer that let's go back to the writing board and uh, see one dimensional indexing of indexing of 2 so one dimensional indexing of two dimensional arrays so we noted that we had this a a is a matrix whose ijth entry is but say a is a matrix this is an alternative way of writing so set of real numbers this r signifies the set of real numbers for the uninitiated and the space of so r to the m represents the space of uh, m dimension columns and space of mn matrices or n column arrangements of m dimensional column vectors so note that this indicates that a has m rows and this indicates that a has m rows and n columns so now a and we want to have we represented at the i j but suppose we write the index suppose write the index k in matlab and want matlab to return a k so suppose we want matlab to return a k so what will matlab do we want two indices and uh, we have supplying just one index so uh, what will matlab do that is the question to answer that let us look at how matlab reads arrays so like c or c++ in case only one index is specified 
for two D array MATLAB reads it like one D array. In case a two dimensional index is specified for a two dimensional array, MATLAB reads it like a one dimensional array. So, how does MATLAB read it like a one dimensional array? That is the question. So, MATLAB reads it as a 1D array column by column. MATLAB reads like it like a one dimensional array column by column. That is, if it is m by n, so it has m rows and n columns. So, it will start reading from here. So, for k 1 to m, it will return the corresponding value from the first column. From for k, it will return the value from the first column m plus 1 to 2 m return the second column, third column and so on. So, k k can have the range k can have the range 1 to m n. So, now and so on or a k is read as ceiling or rather actually ceiling this. So, this is how you read a matrix. So, please note that this is slightly complicated that the remainder k minus 1 m plus 1 that is you take k minus 1 get the remainder and uh, add 1 to what you get and you will get this. So, for example, so, we have constructed a 4 by 3 matrix. Say we have constructed this 3 by 4 matrix in MATLAB. So, let us say I, so this is a 3 by 4 matrix and I want its 11th element. So, let us look at this example. So, have A We have a 3 by 4 matrix and want its 11th element. So, anyway, uh, it is a, it has a total of 12 elements. So, k can be between 1 and 12 and I want its 11th element. So, to get that 11th element, let us use this. So, a 11 equals Eleven by three, comma, remainder ten, three. Plus one. So this equals a four, comma two. So let's see if we get that. So uh, in this matrix, sorry, this is so third row, and so I interchange these and this should be actually I will delete this and I will rewrite this. What I will do is I will erase this and I interchange the rows and columns here. So, a k equals a remainder k minus 1 comma m plus 1 and ceiling of k by m this. So, 11th element would be a 11 
equals a that is the fourth column of the second row that. So, let us look at this. So, and this should be 6, 6 we got it. Similarly, A4 or A6 should be A6 is 5 and 3 is 2 plus 1, 3 and comma ceiling so 2. So, this 6 should be 4 and A6 is 4 as uh, we expected. So, now this is how we index a two dimensional array in one dimension in MATLAB. So, the next thing uh, so, this and this gives us an absolute index, absolute one dimensional index for a two dimensional array. So, now with this we can actually index any two dimensional array in one dimension. So, let us see if let us try something which is not allowed. So, if we try 813, so maximum number of uh, array elements, so it exceeds the maximum number of array elements which is an error. So, similarly if I try this is fine index uh, exceeds array element. Similarly, there is the min command that is min a and say instead of rows now I want to or instead of columns now I want the minimum element across rows. So, I change the dimension here and now it looks across rows instead of columns. So, instead of rows it now looks across columns if I use this sort of command. So, let us uh, dissect this, I will copy this and paste it onto a new, sl new slide and then we will discuss this. So, let us look at this. So, this the matrix and this is the across which we want the position to be done. This one columns, two rows and all means all. Fine. Another command that uh, we should know here is sum. So, or rather I say sum of A. This, this gives a column wise sum. If I specify sum A2, this gives a row wise sum and, uh, and then obviously there is sum. So, 1 is the default argument here. all is wrong. So, all needs to be in single braces and this gives the sum of all A. There is also the option of sum. If you do not want to use all, you also have the option of sum of sum of A. So, sum of A returns a row vector. You again sum it, you get uh, the overall sum. So, that is another way of uh, getting things done. So, that was all for uh, some basic matrix operations in MATLAB. In the next lecture, we will cover matrix multiplications. Thank you. Thank you.